Hello everyone, and here we are again, Aguila City, Arizona. This was the Aguila County Courthouse, and we're gonna get inside in just a moment. We're just gonna cross the street, and then we're gonna check it out. Uh, this uh, this structure was built in 1907. It replaced an old structure that was uh, that was uh, made of a uh, fuel of uh, adobe, and so then they decided to have a bigger structure, a bigger building. And so they built this one in 1907. Those old adobe buildings were uh, demolished in 1887. And so now this building became the, the Corey Valley Center viento? for the Arts in 1984. The Cover Valley Center for the Arts is open from 10 to 4 every day, except Sunday. Sunday is open from 12 to 4. So you can come in anytime, Hello. any day, and no. then uh, you're gonna see all this beautiful architecture. And you're gonna walk around and you're gonna see this grand staircase. You see the railings? Those are covered with copper. It's really beautiful done. And that leads to the courthouse, I mean to the court upstairs. That's where the judges used to be, the jury chambers, the district attorney, and no, even a library where all whatever you needed for the proper function of a superior court. And then if you walk, walk around, you're gonna see beautiful paintings from local artists, I'm guessing. Uh, they're beautifully, beautifully done. It's worth it to check it out, even to check out the building itself from the inside. It's been a greater, but it still looks awesome. To my understanding, uh, they also give you a tour for the for the court upstairs. Uh, this time we didn't get the the tour because I think he needed he needed more personnel. Where was there whoever opened the door for us? He needed one more person so he can give us a tour. But unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't do it. I wish I, we could, but it just it wasn't the right day. This building, which is the um, the Kila County Courthouse had three floors. The upper floor is a court, is a court. And the second floor was the, um, that's where the, the offices were located, such as the private judge and recorder clerk, etc., etc. And then the ground floor or the basement, that's where the, um, the jail was at, down there, downstairs. And on the ground floor was the jail and the, and the sheriff office. There were a total of 16 cells downstairs, but even 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 if you had 16, it wasn't big enough. Remember, in the early yeah. time, in the early days of love, there was a lot of crimes, a lot of stabbings, a lot of fighting, uh, a lot of killings, shootings. You know, it was a man in town in the beginning, so you know, every man in town, anywhere, they usually a lot of, a lot of crime, and so they needed a bigger jail, a well organized big jail, because you know the the one in the beginning, the all adobe wasn't enough. Then they built this one and it wasn't big enough. And so now they decided, okay, we're gonna build another one. So they built another jail behind the courthouse. You're gonna see it right now. Actually, we're going over there right now. A legendary inmate was here. His name was Apache Kid. He was, uh, he served in the US military as a scout. Apache Kid served under the command of Al Cyber, who was the chief of scouts at the so time. Was, and Apache Kid was so good at trucking that he got promoted to first sergeant in a short period of time. You see that bridge right there? That's called the Cyber Bridge, the one that is connecting the court and the jail. This is a this is a jail. The one you see here is a jail. It was built in 1910. And we're gonna take a look around this area. And somewhere around here, there used to be the gallows. Those two buildings at the far end, on the right hand side, were the Family Fellowship Church in 1917 and the U.S. Post Office built in 1928. And this is the other side of the jail, of the county jail. And right behind us was the um, St. John's Episcopal Church built in 1901. Once you appreciate these rustic windows, you're going to get inside the building. And once you get inside, they're going to ask you if you want a tour or not. Unfortunately, the tour guide wasn't available on that day, but overall it was still good because uh, you're gonna watch a video and then the video is gonna show you some of the some like some kind of orientation or like um, like introduction of the building. Once you're done with the video, you're gonna go right through the cells 
you're gonna come through here you're gonna go i think upstairs and you're gonna go it's gonna be a little bit dark a little scary but not too scary i didn't see any ghosts i mean supposedly there's paranormal activity but to be honest I didn't feel anything you know you just walk through you appreciate how you know you just imagine how how to sleep and there was one one latrine one on one at each end it is a silence though i didn't feel anything like no goosebumps or or cold air i didn't feel anything like that that's a that's a yard i think that's where the uh the carlos used to be at that's where they used to be hanged on that yard now keep in mind guys you know back in those days there was no heater there was no ac so whatever comes in i mean it was hot hot or cold cold they probably brought something later on but it was like late in the years you know it wasn't a good place to be at it was all cold uh, probably moisture maybe i don't know it was just just, just terrible there were four bunkers in each cell as you can see once you're done with a little tour you're gonna go through this uh, stairway and this will lead you to the bridge of sight and the prisoners or inmates once they get their sentences in the court uh, next the next oh. building they will cross this bridge escorted by the by the sheriff oh, wow. and then they bring him to the cells here in jail and this is the bridge of sight here this is about 40 feet high probably and that's the jail in front of us i mean i'm sorry the the court and at one point back in may 2nd 1912 there was a prisoner called frank Ballen, and from this point he decided to leave off the bridge because he thought he was gonna get a big sentence like a long a very long sentence like 99 years probably in prison so he was fearing that you know that he didn't want to stay in the jail for so for too long not for life and so he decided to leap off the, the the bridge and die and he actually he he died he passed away on this side of the jail this is where the women used to be at and the juveniles in these cells actually this these ones are kind of bigger they have more space uh they feel like they have a couple of showers here in the toilet yeah. and uh there's one story here, I think uh, there's somebody named uh, Kinsley Olds. The story goes goes that back in June 30, 1911, Kinsley Olds killed two little girls and he blamed a Mexican Apache. Well, actually he said that they were attacked by an Apache or a Mexican. But when the sheriff went out there to verify or investigate, he didn't add up. Uh, Kinsley Olds also shot himself. I guess he was trying to kill himself, but you know, he survived. They brought him to jail and somebody, somebody was able to hide on the next building on the court, on the second floor. So that person, no, he was never caught. So that person was waiting for Kinsley Olds to go to sleep. And once he got a good, uh, a good, uh, a good aim, he shot Kinsley Oldsley twice and he died in the cell and nobody knew who did it nobody up to this point up to this day nobody knew who shot kingsley Oates. there's more details about the story but you know i just give you i just gave you a, a general idea how the story went once you go through this uh these cells you're gonna see graffiti uh, you get you, you kind of know you know how the people lived here for a while remember it was hot and cold so you know they have they have to share the shower and the and the toilet the one you just saw right now and you're gonna see the drawings you're gonna see people counting you're gonna see like marks stick marks you know people that were counting when they're gonna get released i noticed a couple of chairs well actually not a couple a few chairs i'm not i don't know if they're original or not but they look old they, they might be original I'm not quite sure about that one, but there's also, there's also a, like a room that uh, I don't know what it was for. There was no, there's no bed or bunk. This is where Kingsley Olds probably was shot. 
in this cell right here. Um, yeah, because it's saying, it, they're describing that it, uh, it was a big cell. So this is the biggest cell I've seen. So I can imagine that he was sleeping in this cell and he, and then he got shot there and died. And maybe there's ghosts. I don't know if there's ghosts because of that. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like I said before, you know, I didn't feel any presence. You know, I didn't have the, the you know, goosebumps or cold air or anything like that. Maybe some people are sensitive to those kinds of wavelengths, you know. Maybe they can feel it, but I really didn't feel anything. You know, maybe you guys can come over here and then you, you can tell us, you know, what happened there. Uh, this is the room that I was uh, talking about it a couple of minutes ago it, it's, it's small but there's no bunks and no bed so i'm guessing they use it for praying maybe i don't know just to pray but once you're done with this floor you go down downstairs and then you end up in the sheriff's office and it's pretty good because you're gonna see memorabilia pictures newspapers a news notes and much more info and yes you should come over here and check it out it's a nice place a lot of history behind it and uh, you're gonna enjoy it. i'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it like my family did i hope uh, i hope you come and visit globe sometime and once again again thank you for watching my video i hope you liked it and enjoyed it you know i really like these kind of places i like to tell the story hopefully you guys liked it that way and i'll see you in the next adventure i'm going back to california so well i'll see you next time guys have a good day. See you next time.